this week I'm testing the brand new Mazda BT50. This is the XT base model. And let's find out how good it is as a baby drive. In the back of the Mazda BT50, there are isofix in the two outer seats. They're not within plastic guides, but nice and easy to connect to. Now, installing child seats isn't easy in here. They use the woven loop system for the top tether anchorages. Now, underneath the headrests on the back of the outer seats are two woven loops. Now, you've got to pass your top tether strap through there and across to a metal anchorage behind the central seat headrest. Now, this is really full of pitfalls and difficulties. Your um, clip will get stuck on the woven loop. Also, there's central seat belt. Um, you have to go either in front of that or try and force the top tether strap behind it. It's really quite difficult. Leg room is quite good in here. With a rear-facing child seat behind the driver's seat, we could get about a 170 centimeter passenger in here. And with forward facing, we could get 182 centimetres and taller. In the back of the Mazda BT50, the storage is quite minimal. There are map pockets in the back of both front seats that will hold but not conceal an iPad, and there's a little bag hook as well. The door bins are a good size, they will hold a large refillable water bottle, and there's the little handle wells too. In the front of the BT50, there are two cup holders in the central console. They will hold a reusable and a disposable coffee cup, but they don't reach the bottom, which means they might spill. A large refillable water bottle does fit in there nicely. In front of the gear lever is a phone charging well with a 12 volt and USB socket. The central console box is quite small. There's a glasses case in the ceiling. And there's two glove boxes. However, they won't hold an iPad in the top one, I could fit my wallet and the bottom one's full of the manual. Down by your right knee is a little coin drawer and the door bins are a good size. They will hold a large refillable water bottle and an iPad fits in there too. And you've got the little door wells too. The tray of the Mazda BT50 will hold 30 shopping bags. The BT50 is really nice to drive. This is the base model and there's something quite nice about its simplicity. It has all the drive assist features you'd normally find in a family SUV and visibility is very good out of here too. And I find it pretty easy to park. The media system in the BT50 is really basic and simple and easy to use. Now it does have digital radio which is fantastic, allows you to have ABC Kids Listen and things like that for kids to listen to. Also has Apple CarPlay and Android Auto as well. Now, when I put it into reverse, the sound annoyingly comes back on the stereo. Um, the camera image is a little bit blurry, um, but all the models do have a reversing camera, which is really good. So to sum up with the new Mazda BT50, it is packed full of family-friendly safety features, which is great to start seeing it in a ute. And it's great that it's got those eight airbags. It's a shame the top tether anchorages are the woven loops though, so you still get the two child seats in the back. Cabin space and media system are good too.